We talked to two mail carriers here at the Port St. Lucie main post office. Both are dog bite victims and both glad to get the word out about Dog Bite Awareness Week. Wednesday morning and mail carriers here at the Port St. Lucie main post office are on the move. Sarah DeSosa has been a mail carrier for almost 13 years. She likes being outdoors, but understands there can be challenges. Well, uh, dogs are an issue, unfortunately. Um, I, uh, I actually uh, was uh, bitten by a dog on my route last summer. She says the dog took a bite out of her leg and left a scar. It looks worse than it is because it happened actually on a birthmark. But uh, right here is this little tear. All right. Juana George has been with the post office for seven years. She also had an encounter with a dog while out on her route. I wasn't expecting them, but um, he, he came out very uh, quick and fast. She says she was walking up to the door with her hands full and didn't have time to grab her dog spray. When he beat me, it was too fast. I couldn't reach my, so it was fast. And what's a tiny dog, actually? Postal officials say aggressive dog behavior poses a serious threat to postal workers. They say when a letter carrier comes to your home, keep dogs inside the house or behind a fence. Keep dogs away from the door or in another room or keep dogs on a leash. They say the annual Dog Bite Awareness Campaign is a way to promote responsible pet ownership. During this week, we have a talk every day and we go over scenarios of uh, people that actually had been bitten by dogs. And we try to make sure that all of our, our uh, city carriers and our rural carriers out there are always safe. In Port St. Lucie, Angela Rozier, WBBF 25 News.